Hello everyone and welcome back to another siege battle. Uh, this one sent in by Emperor Candy Katsu at the settlement of Tullerfordun. Uh Alright, well, obviously we can't see much of the defenders. And... Oh, it's a... Interesting. It's a 3v3 on the smaller size. So the defenders don't get any wall artillery. But it is what it is. All right, uh, let's get the players on the battlefield. Then we'll quickly go over army comps and get right into it. All right, so commanding Boyai is Emperor Kandi Katsu. Seleucid is being uh, commanded by Sword of Cinna. And then Athens is being commanded by RPB 717. Uh, defending, we have Lusitani being commanded by Existential Crisis. We can do some uh, sneakiness going on over there. Uh, Egypt is being commanded by Aurelius Maximus. And Iceni is being commanded by Goblin Cleaver 15. All right, let's see what the attackers have brought with them. We'll start with Seleucid, make our way around, and then we will start. All right, so the gen is a game of cab. Let's see, we got some Thurio Spears up front. Looks like they're probably protecting the ballista there. We got Syrian heavy archers. Yep, all four. Back line of thorax swords. What we got here? Two thorax pikemen. Other eastern or a eastern spearman unit. Egypt has Hippias lancers, uh, picked hoplites, Thurio spears, big old onager. Thorax swords, probably with Cretans, right? Yep, Cretans. And then we got uh, Thurios hoplites up on the towers. And then we got another javelin man. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Uh, not something. I, mean, I think they get uh, Balearic slingers, don't they? I don't remember. Uh, and then Bowie Eyes bringing with him, let's see, Celtic warriors. Uh, we got a bunch of sword followers down here. Mostly Celtic warriors, I am assuming, but don't assume things because then you make an ass out of you and me, but I'm right. Uh, Osworn and Osworn Gen. And we got four units of the Celtic Bowmen and one unit of Heavy Horse. And we got two Gorilla Warriors from Lusitani over here, and that appears to be it. Alright, let's get it underway. Interesting that they went with. Uh, the smaller Solomon, because with three, three people in there, it, I'd imagine it's going to get a little cramped. And if at least one of the attackers decides, ooh, ooh, ambushers, okay, trying to get off on the uh, giant ballista, but didn't make it over there. Back over here, we got heavy horse engaging. In the Gorilla Warriors, We've got some more ambushers heading over here. Boy, I shifting over some of the sword followers to help deal with this sneak attack. Heavy horses doing what they can, but uh, they're not gonna last much longer. Uh, Celtic Bowman getting some good shots off though. Sword followers have managed to get over here in time to be able to thwart this ambush over here. Uh, don't have much of an ambush anywhere else, it doesn't look like. So let's see, Egypt's got a thorax sword. Oh, we got a sally out. We got a sally out. What do we got? Egypt probably? No, Sutari cab. Oh boy. Oh boy. How long is it? 24 minutes? Okay. Sutari cab. Making their way, probably gonna try and uh, maybe ping pong off some towers to disembark these guys and then try and make their way to the archers over here if they can. Ambushes are getting pretty beat up by the sword followers. Back over here, Sutari Cab is getting just absolutely mobbed upon. Let's see what else we got. Some more Thorax swords, carrying an axeman. Not a bad unit to have, because uh, they kind of act like a Thorio Spear unit, only cheaper, I think. 
they're definitely cheaper. Uh, let's see. Lots of carrying axemen, actually. Blazing swords. swords. Black swords. What's he got? Uh, Egyptian archers. Okay, Blair. Beering slingers. It's Tony gets Balearic slingers. Uh, let's see. Druidic nobles. Egyptian infantry. Veteran shield warriors. I know I'm missing what's going on back here. Let me turn the camera around. There. More Druidic nobles. Uh, Lusitani nobles. Mm, Alright. Looks like I see any kind of. Wonder if they have more ambush troops outside. I'm not really seeing much from my scene, really. Uh, can I see how far this can go? Let's look. There's its line. Alright, so the ballista has, this is the, the ballista's line right here, right? So you can see it goes all the way. This is the line right here. And I know that uh, Athens is brought with an, an, an onager. But I think that maybe I would have used the onager to uh, open up a breach in the wall. It's 480. 550. Yeah, I might have used the Onager to open up a breach and then used the Ballista to just absolutely pummel these units. Because like I said, they, they went with the smaller size, which is interesting, especially since it gives the attackers this vantage point right here to be able to fire down on the defenders. Uh, Furious Hoplites getting beat up by some Hungarian swords. Just got put in this Light wall. I think they also square for now that I'm. Celtic warriors charged in against some carrying axemen. Celtic warriors are probably, well, not when they're getting volleyed down upon like that. Carrying axemen 28, uh, 26, 37, 45. 27, 40, 50, 40. Yeah, the Celtic warriors definitely would win this. But because there's so much support. Ooh, that was a close one. He may not have much ammo left. That's the only problem. Because he, he wasted. Uh, well, not that he wasted. But he spent ammo, uh, ammo on knocking down this wall. Oh, oh boy. What do we got? Veteran riders, chariots. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, veteran riders going to get into the. Oh, jeez. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, he's got to be careful too. If he turns the chariots around and gets up this ledge, I'm surprised that he didn't try and go for that because he could have just pulled right through the um, the sword followers. Egypt sending over his pious lancers to try and help deal with the chariots. They're already up to 116 kills. Let's see, these veteran riders only up to five. Seleucid is now backing up Boyai, trying to get in here as quickly as he can. Thorax Swords taking off carrying axemen. But look at this, nice angle from the Mycenae here, or Egypt rather. Getting shots in on the side of the Thorax Swords, and they're losing against the unit of carrying axemen. But they're getting shot at, so they're going to have to pull back. And unfortunately, uh, this is going to allow Seleucid to be able to get in here. Once these two units break, they'll be able to turn around and get into the back of the Storak Swords and really be able to help uh, Celtic Warriors out. I'm not sure what his tower is doing over here. Let's see what's going on over here. Looks like uh, I see these chariots are gone. Veteran Riders are still sticking around, duking it out with the Osworn Gem, but they are going to lose. They're going to try and pull away. Probably going to get uh, routed, especially if the Pais Lancers can keep up with them, but that's the thing. Well, he has them in in triangle formation, so that I think decreases their acceleration. Right? Right? Stop moving. Never mind, I'm pretty sure it does. Don't pull me on it, but also I'm right. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we can start to see a little more. Yeah, it looks like they just won all druidic nobles and then maybe not wasted their money, but spent uh, most of their money on the chariots, the cav, and the gorilla warriors, perhaps? 
That's what it's, it's seeming like. At least. Ooh, look at this. We got the Syrians engaging the Egyptian archers. Naturally, they're going to win that. The Egyptian archers are very lightly armored. And uh, the Syrian heavy archers are just very, very tanky. Iberian swordsmen duking it out with some Celtic warriors. Going one for one. Who's going to break first? Oh, there you go. There's your answer. That's who's going to break first. So maybe this unit break might up. actually yep, start to Warriors come back. Uh, and yeah. I would leave this unit engaged. Pull this one back to the walls. Circle around. Call him up. And then come in from behind. Personally. Look at this. Uh... This is using his eastern spearmen to burn down the towers over here. Oh, man. Egypt is just getting torn up by Athens' archers. Ooh, and their, their archers moving up. Alright, so maybe this isn't such a bad idea to have the honor fire in on a lot of people since they, they can get closer, so maybe uh, the shots will be a little bit more accurate. Got the javelin up here, the Celtic bowman. The only thing that sucks about the Celtic bowman being up here is that they have 125 range. So, let's see. Can I pick out? Yeah, you can see this right here is their line, and it stops right about there. So even if they set up here, I don't think that they have the range to get into the druidic mode. Speaking of what's their stats, 38, 45, 74 melee defense, not bad, 45 armor, there's only 60 of them, they do, I think they scare people though, right, I believe, and they can, uh, what is the, the ability that they have, what is nobles, they got, yeah, chant, what does it do, show me, boost morale, they can encourage nearby troops, so, Oh, wait, look at this. Where is... Where are they getting all of these... The cab? So that is what he spends his money on, is ambushers and cab. But I mean, like, they're... The attacker... Th it, this is... I mean, as soon as they move their archers into a safer spot, like, this is... I feel like it's too late for this. Because there's just too many spear units around. Um... I mean, I would probably move my archers and the onager up a, a, a little bit closer. This thing's burning down. I wonder if this, when it burns down, if this... Yeah, it looks like it did. It damaged. Damaged the Thorax swords. So I was curious about that. So now we got uh, some of Egypt's Galatian swordsmen and Skatari spearmen from Lusitani taking on... Let's see. One, two, three units of Thorius Hoplites and a sword follower unit. They're probably eventually going to lose that. Um, what is Icini doing? I don't know if... Paying money for the, for the cab is a good, a good move. This bullet, oh no, they're still, they still got ammo, so he can keep firing, actually. He's got to be careful. Solution, <clears throat> sorry. Solution's to move his pikes, at least, to support this ballista. They finally made some headway into this pocket here. They're going to start capturing the gate. Uh, unfortunately, the towers have been burnt down. Ooh, he's firing in, he's firing out. So he's going after Egyptian infantry. Athens is now using his auditor to fire in on this mass right here. Unfortunately, they're not using fire shot. Guys, remember, always use fire shot as it does increase the damage. If you're using standard shot to try and take down a wall, it's going to take you a lot longer than it would fire shot. Uh, but yeah, I mean, look at this. This is just a, a nice, juicy, meaty... A5 beef target right here that Egypt is absolutely going for and oh look at that nice big rip into the thorax swords taking out nearly 20 oh and it just dropped after they got burned and died 
And actually you would die from lack of, lack of oxygen before you would die from burning. But either way, they are down almost 20 men. So, uh, Egypt archers are breaking here. Uh, and uh, right now, as of right now, it's not looking great for the defenders. Uh, the attackers are slowly but surely making some headway. Unfortunately, two of Boaz's sword followers units are breaking up against some veteran shields. Sorry, spearmen. But we'll look at that. Right into the veteran shields. But yeah, they're going to have to fall back now. Sorry, Spears have been left unchecked. Chase after the Celtic Bowman from Boei. Javelin then from Egypt will made it up into the settlement. And maybe they'll uh, come around and shoot into the back of the spearmen. I mean, there's only 33 left, so maybe that'd be pointless. Meanwhile, yep, veteran riders still just chilling, hanging out. Still is some cab up here. I mean, it, they could ride him out and come around the side. Maybe catch Seleucid off guard and uh, slip in between the uh, a game of cab and Thurio Spears and get into the archers. That'd be risky, though. Another big volley coming in. Going after these Storax swords in the back. I would probably just try and aim it here instead. You know, you get lucky if you hit the Lusani Nobles a couple times, definitely get rid of some of these Juridic Nobles. I don't think they have a lot left, though. Let's see, does he manage to get anything with this one? No! Close, though. Looks like he got someone in the back right that backed off the house there. Uh, yeah, so now it's just a, it's a bit of a brawl. Boei still has... One, two, two completely full and fresh units, sword followers, and of course, his two Osorn. Managed to lose five guys out of his general unit, but it was a bit of a surprise. Cut them down! Ooh, where's he going for? Yeah, he's going for the gen. Iberian Slinger's moving up. Gotta be careful. He's, uh... Warriors, move out! Yeah, get your archers out of there. They're not heavily Fire armored enough to deal with that type of nonsense. Still trying to get shots in. Again, Seleucid... Uh oh Yeah, I see him is, is slowly but surely just moving. I feel like he's... Not running them to try and, you know, uh, play, play it cool, fly casual, so to speak. So they can get into either the backs of these pikes or into the backs of the uh, ballista here. Which, again, this thing should be firing. He's got ammo. I mean, <coughs> pardon me. <coughs> I at least think he does it. You know, he has shots loaded up. We'll have to try and keep an eye on him. Oh, they're on the move. They're on the move. Again, though, I don't know why he has them in triangle formation. The acceleration of melee defense goes down. It's not really worth it. Uh, I understand trying to, to, to pierce your way through, but still. So what is he going to do? Is he going to juke into the back of the thorax pikes? Or is he going to get into the back of... Uh, so let's spin around so we can pay attention to what's going on with that. Into the back of the pikes. Oh my god. Seleucid is completely unaware of what is going on right now. This is probably actually the best thing that he could go for. Iceni going after these pikes. They're not in pike formation. They got charged in the rear. These guys are going to start taking heavy losses quickly. Uh, if Seleucid doesn't pay attention. Athens has noticed what's going on. But I guess has decided not to tell his Seleucid ally that, hey, your pikes have gotten rear charged. And, uh, you know, so let's see how many guys there is. Almost 20 out of that unit and almost 20 out of that one. Game of Cab gonna chase them off, but, uh, I mean, damn, how do you not? You must be hyper-focused over here. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, so now Athens has to basically protect Seleucid's pikes and, and ballista. Alright, boy eyes moving forward, gonna take on some of these Thorax swords. Seems like boy eyes being a little bit of a meat shield here. Athens actually was also a, a giant meat shield. Uh, ended up losing at least most of the troops that they sent in there. I still can pick up light and it's moving in. As well as the Storax Sword and Pick Top Lights over here, protecting these spikes. Uh, yeah, I wonder what happened here. Like, did this guy just, like, leave, or... These Egyptian archers getting sent off to field the battle. These guys, too. Exhausted. Yeah, this would be a good time for the Pais Lancers to get a nice charge in. Ah, uh, but you notice. Pull back, pull back. You're just gonna get you baited into following this guy. Beerian Slinger's getting shot to hell. I mean, start pressing over here, you know? Is he chasing? Oh, you fool. You fool, get him out of there. You absolutely need to get him out of there. This is not gonna end well for the Athens general. Sure, they're losing right now, but uh, it's gonna change real quick, especially now that, yep, there it is. He's dealing with, dealing with two veteran riders and it's such a heavy cab unit that he won't be able to get away. Fool of a toque. Alright, back over here. Uh, let's see, we got Thorio Spears. Firing in on these Dru Druidic nobles. Not a bad idea. Uh, the Iberian Slingers, though, firing right down off these Thorio Spears. But they should be able to tank some of the damage. And at least be able to really whittle down these Druidic nobles. That it should be easier to punch through. But, looks like Seleucid is actually... Duking around, so is Athens. These Thorax Swords pulled back so they can what use their... Are these Silver Shields? Oh, oh, oh no, he just used... Uh, Back his Thorio Spears. Yeah, looks like they probably got used up all their ammo. Back out over here. He's still just. What are you doing, man? Stop this. Stop this nonsense. You're being a silly goose. Don't chase them. It's not worth it. You'll never catch them. Uh, is he firing? No. He should be firing. He really should be firing up and into the settlement, especially at the heroic rider again. Look at this. Gorilla Warriors coming in from the side. I mean, it's too little too late for all the game folks that are they're seen. Uh, and I would wager a guess that even a uh, Thorio Spear unit would be able to deal with them. Uh, since they're so depleted. Finally managed to punch through over here. Celtic Warriors. Bravely charged in on the Druidic nobles and got sent packing. Pull out! Get running! Mercenary Korean archers firing in on Thorax swords in the back. In reality, though, in reality, though, they should, I mean, if you wanted to really do some damage, either fire in on the Blair or Blair Slingers, Iberian Slingers over there, or fire in on the side of the Druidic nobles. Not that it really matters since there's only three and nine left. Yeah, I mean, at this point, with whatever archers you have left, I would just be trying to, look at this. I told you, I told you we're never gonna be able to catch them. And now you're gonna lose your ballista that has ammo in it. 
game of cap coming over here. They might actually be able to, well, their melee defense is 23. Definitely not as good as, uh, as veteran riders, right? Yeah. So now one of your, your, your pick top lights and your thorax swords are super far away from where the fighting is and your highest lancer general uh, is a little beat up and, well, yeah. All right, so yeah, definitely get the pikes in there. Focus down the rest of the missile troops. Because uh, I don't think they have a lot left. Uh, well, decisively, that's good. I don't know. It looks like maybe he actually got rid of the other veteran riders, which is good. Pick top light. Yeah, move, move these guys up. Gotta move these guys up. Most sworn units gonna go in up against some druidic nobles, but they thought better of it, and now they are running for their lives. Uh, what do we got here? Royal Peltis. Firing in on these archers who definitely do not have ammo. That pulled out 182. Or, oh no, only 98. That sucks. 146. Heavy Onager got 182 kills, started charging them in. Syrians. Uh, let's see. They out of ammo. Add ammo. Add of ammo. Add of ammo. Oh boy. I I mean this I you know, why are they so close? Because now this is gonna happen. So we're gonna watch this cab come charging through. I mean, granted, you know, most of these archers don't have any ammo, but these guys still have ammo. Why are these guys up here? They still have ammo. <laughs> what are you guys doing? We're starting to see some breaking, though, from Lusitani. Yeah, or we're starting to get some mass rounding. Uh, I mean, I guess this is it? Is this it? Yeah, minute 33 left. Man. That was, uh, I think I seen he could have done better. I think he should have, if he indeed did have, I mean, we'll find out after the battle is over. But if he did have four units of veteran riders, I think he would have been better off saving all four and sending them out and coming around. Because uh, if he had all four, he could have gotten rid of the pikes a lot quicker, I think. He could have sent someone after the ballista, even though it's not firing anymore. Um, yeah, I think I seen he could have done better. And I seen he's not like the greatest faction, but they're, I, I think that they're, or I feel that they are fairly a decent defending faction. Yeah, uh, I mean, they, the defenders definitely put up a, a, a tough fight right here, though. I mean, this is uh, a, a tough spot to navigate. You don't have a lot of wall space, a lot of real estate to choose from to, to where you want to attack. I think you can only bring, like, one or two towers up here to use this wall. I, I do believe you can. You can knock this wall down and send troops up it, but, I mean, that's, like, kind of a hassle. Sort of? Not really, actually, because... In the deployment zone, this is available to you, so you can put uh, a, a, a ballista or auditor up here. But yeah, on, on small size, this is, I guess this is a bit of a difficult map to attack, but also it's not because you get this plateau right here that the attackers can use. That'll... <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's see how everyone did, huh? <laughs> oh, man. Well, uh, oh, man. Okay. Emperor Kenny Katsu got 1,909 kills, 88 for his gen, 68 for his heavy horse, 147, 98, 147, and 115 for his cuthric bowman. So a pretty, uh, very well done across the board. These guys, they're not my favorite unit, uh, range unit. They're probably, I mean, any unit that has a 125 range and it's a bow unit, I, I try and stay away from. But you can't really help it with bow AI unless you just want slingers, and then you can't fire over buildings. 
Let's see. Uh, 46, 27, 33, 84, 136, and 48, and 120 for his Celtic Warriors. 56 for his other Osorn unit. 55, 91, 88, 171, 148, and 143 for his Sword followers. Sword of Sinnoh with 1,672 kills. 155 for his General. 21 for his um, Ballista. 108, 61, 121, and 143 for his uh, Syrians. Eight for his Eastern Spearmen. I feel like this is just like uh, I gotta. I have money and I can spend that unit. Four and one for his Pikes. Uh, 207, 112, 131, 177, 114, and 107 for his Thorax Swords. And then uh, 56, 126, nice. And 20 for his Thorio Spears. Uh, RPB 717 with, uh, with 925 kills. And, oh, wow. I... I don't know why, but I thought he had more units. And this is the second time that this has happened in, in a, a replay video. And from uh, Emperor Candy Katsu as well. Yeah, I don't know why. Why did I think that he had more units? 84 for his gen, 182 for his uh, onager, 58 for his javelin, 90, 66, and 49 for his cretins. That's very low. He definitely could have done better. Uh... Four and zero for his pick top lights, <clears throat> one twenty seven for his one thorax sword, seven for the other, thirty nine, sixty one, seventy eight, and fifty four for his thorio top lights, and then twenty six for his thorio spears. Existential crisis for one thousand twenty two kills, <clears throat> ninety for his general, one and two for his guitar cab, uh, nineteen, thirty nine, twenty five, and seventeen for his Iberian slingers, twenty nine. Uh, 23, 51, or no, I'm sorry, 29, 23 for his glo 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 Gorilla Warriors, Sally sells, she sells by the seashore, uh, 51, 85, 51, and 36 for the Iberian Swords, 61 and 63 for the Lusitani Swordswoman, 91 for the Spatari Spears, and then 60, 142, 70, and 62 for the Veteran Shield Warriors. Man, Lusitani really got Beat up, huh? I mean, you, you usually, but you would usually see some higher numbers for them. But these what it is? Egypt with one thousand one hundred twenty-one kills, seventy-seven for his general, sixty-four, sixty-five, eighteen, and eighty-three for his Egyptian archers, which is a crying shame. They got focused down real fast. Sixty-six and fifty-three for his Galatian swords. 69, nice, 22, 41, 46, 50 for his carrying axman. 67, 88, 16, 27, 97, 68, and 65 for Thorax Swords, and then 39 for Egyptian Infantry, and then Goblin Cleaver 15 with 517. Again, another interesting uh, build. I want, because they have the, uh, I see in Athens have the same amount of troops. I wonder if, uh, that was a, a, a rule? Probably not. It's probably just coincidence. I'm sure I'll, I'll find out. I will be informed. Uh, so, 60 for his Heroic Rider General. Oh, pardon me. 172 for his Chariots. 21, 25, and 34 for his Veteran Riders. See, he only had three, but I feel like it would have been better if he just kept these three together. 3, 15, 39, and 1 for his ambushers. Jeez. 10, 1, 21, 26, 15, 39 for his juridic nobles. But, I mean, there's only 60 men in a group, so. I don't know what he thought was going to happen. They're definitely better as a support unit than full-on front line. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed that one, uh, stay tuned for more. <laughs> <laughs> Stay in the, on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. Do all that cool stuff. Uh, it helps out the channel. And uh, I am on the quest to get 60 subscribers. I made it to 20. Actually, 21 now. Uh, and now, yeah, uh, I'm going to try and get 60 subscribers. So I'm going to be trying to, once again, do daily uploads. And... Every like and comment and share and view and stuff like that helps uh, a ton. So until the next one, this is Lichter saying peace out and be well.